And greetings, friends. Today I want to talk about another weak argument that uh, Sunday keepers try to use to try and prove that Sunday is the day Christians ought to go to worship. It's found in Mark, the first chapter, verse 35. Here's another desperate attempt from Sunday keepers to try to prove Sunday, even though the Bible plainly says here, Luke, the fourth chapter, verse 16, it says here, he, talking about Jesus, came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went in the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. His custom was to go to the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Jesus Christ of Nazareth kept the Sabbath day. The Bible says that Jesus is without sin. And what is sin? 1 John 3, 4. Sin is the transgression of God's law. He didn't transgress the law of God, meaning that he kept the Sabbath day as well as the other laws of Almighty God. Jesus plainly showed us in Matthew, the 12th chapter, verse 12. He says, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. Jesus taught us how to keep the Sabbath. That is lawful to do good on the Sabbath day. So Jesus taught about the Sabbath. Jesus kept the Sabbath. But, you know, Sunday keepers, they don't want to talk about these scriptures. They don't want to expound any of these scriptures. Instead, they try and find proof texts to try and prove their traditions. And here it is in Mark, the first chapter, verse 35. Now in verse 21, it says that, that Jesus went, went into Capernaum, and on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught, as his custom was. He went and kept the Sabbath and went into the synagogue and taught. And then here we see him cleanse people on the Sabbath, healing people on the Sabbath. And then it says here, after the Sabbath, it says, And in the morning, this is Sunday morning, rising up a great while before the day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there he prayed. And Sunday keepers say, you see, Jesus kept Sunday and not the Sabbath, even though all other texts show that Jesus Christ kept the law and kept the Sabbath. They take this to show that Jesus Christ of Nazareth kept Sunday, or try to establish Sunday. Well, when you look at it, first of all, there is no church service. There's no gathering of people. He was alone. And then the disciples uh, in verse 36 and 37 found him saying, all men seek you. So he was alone. There was no church service. He just went alone to pray, which he did many, many times in the Bible. It didn't matter which day of the week it was. So he was alone. And what was Jesus doing? Why did Jesus pray? On Sunday, why did Jesus pray on Wednesday? Why did Jesus pray on Thursday? He prayed every single day, as it says here in uh, Matthew Henry's commentary. He says here that the book of Psalms is a prophetic book of the life of Christ. You can see that in Luke, the 24th chapter, verse 44. And it says, Jesus was praying as a genuine son of David who seeks God early and direct his prayers in the morning, nay, and at midnight, uh, will he, uh, he rose and gave thanks. He was copying David, what David did, and you can read it in the Psalms, and David was a Sabbath keeper. David was a Sabbath keeper, but he worshiped God every single day. Woke up early in the morning to pray, late at night he went to pray, and he did it every night, and of course the Bible says to pray without ceasing, meaning to pray to God every single day, and you find it in the Psalms. Notice here, a Psalm of the Sabbath day. In Psalm 92, this is a song, Psalm of the Sabbath day. And it says here in verse two, Psalm 92, two, it says to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness, faithfulness every night. He was praying and thanking God for all the blessings that God has given him every single day and every single night. Psalm 72, verse 15, it says, and he shall live. And to him shall be given of the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually and daily he shall be praised. And this is what Jesus Christ of Nazareth was doing on Sunday, Tuesday, Monday, Thursday. It doesn't matter. But the Sabbath, of course, was separated by God and it was solely dedicated to him. Even though Jews at that time prayed every single day. You read in the Bible how people went up to the uh, temple daily to worship, but afterwards they still labored. They still went to work. They just went to the temple or they prayed 
in the morning first before they did anything else, before, of course, uh, you know, you spend quality time with God before our minds become cluttered with the cares and the troubles of the day. So people started out their day praying to God every single day, then went to work. But then on the Sabbath, that day was wholly dedicated to God. There was no work to be done. And the Jews kept the Sabbath. The Jews prayed every day, but the Sabbath was a special day, a special day to worship God, to assemble, to not work, and to praise and uh, pray to Almighty God. So just merely praying on a Sunday does not prove that Jesus Christ of Nazareth tried to establish Sunday. You can't find that anywhere here in the text. So to say that Mark the first chapter verse 35 proves that Jesus Christ of Nazareth established Sunday is just another Bible misconception.